It's in this lab, a hundred kilometers away from Burkina Faso's capital, Ouagadougou, deep in the Sahel region, that a groundbreaking discovery was made. Here, blood samples were analyzed from 450 children given an experimental vaccine against malaria developed by scientists from Oxford University's Jenner Institute. Scientists say the results of their year-long study are extraordinary. I have been part in other studies like this, but never have I seen such good results. All the mothers that are taking part in this study say their children are feeling great. It's an extraordinary moment to see that a vaccine against malaria actually works. Malaria kills almost half a million people a year globally, mostly children living in Africa. There's been efforts to try to slow the spread of malaria by distributing mosquito nets and repellents. But during the rainy season, malaria thrives. And last year, more people died of it than COVID-19. And so an effective vaccine would save and protect not millions of people, but billions of people living in tropical climates exposed to mosquitoes that carry the deadly parasite. Larger trials on nearly 5,000 children will now be carried out in four African countries, but the Jenner Institute, which was behind the AstraZeneca COVID vaccine, is already seeking World Health Organization approval for the malaria vaccine. The World Health Organization wanted a 75% effective vaccine. This is the first time we've gone just, uh, anyone's gone just above that level with 77%. Really importantly, it can be manufactured at, last, at large scale. And we're hearing from the Serum Institute of India today that they'll be able to produce 200 million doses or more. Making the vaccine affordable for those who need it most will be the next challenge. Still, for this small clinic research center in Burkina Faso, where there have been decades of efforts against malaria, this experimental vaccine is a breakthrough not just for science, but for humanity. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera.